When you're out in the countryside, or in a park, or even in your garden, take a look around at the birds. If it's spring or early summer, there's a very good chance that those birds have actually built their homes very close to where you're standing. Just like people, some birds spend a lot more time on their homes than others. Birds like long-tailed tits, tiny white birds with big long black tails, spend many weeks weaving together moss using spider webs to build homes that are perfectly hidden in the undergrowth, away from the eyes of crows and foxes that might want to eat them. The other extreme is the wood pigeon, which you might think is a bit lazy because all it really does is collect a few sticks and pile them on a branch and then lay the egg on top of it without putting much effort in building the nest or lining it at all. It's really easy to spot birds' homes if you look around the countryside and actually during the winter is one of the best times when the trees are bare. I'm standing on a footpath next to a sheep field which is lined with two rows of trees and already I can see a couple of wood pigeon nests left over from last year. As we're walking down the path now we can see on the left hand side this nest is built of much smaller sticks than those in the wood pigeon nests and also we can see tiny bits of moss and green material stuck between the twigs. From the size of it and the material used to build it, this was actually built by a blackbird. It's only about a metre and a half from the ground and it would have been perfectly hidden in the summer when all the leaves were on the trees. I spend a lot of time studying nests and this is one of the most important bits of equipment that I use to do that. What I'm holding is basically just a stick with a mirror on the end the stick is in fact the handle of a fishing net and the mirror is the wing mirror of a moped. And the way I use this is by reaching up into the tree and holding the mirror over the nest so I can see inside and without having to get a ladder and get all the way up to the nest myself. It's very important to look into birds' homes and count the numbers of eggs and chicks so that we can tell that the bird numbers are doing okay. Have you ever wondered what it feels like to be inside a bird's nest? Well, I can tell you that in this nest that I'm holding, when I put my fingers inside the entrance hole, I can feel hundreds of little white feathers. It's very warm and cosy. This is an old nest. It was built by a tiny little brown bird called a wren that worked incredibly hard to collect all this moss and all these feathers to build a home for itself and its eggs. Here's a nest that's even smaller. It really is tiny. It's absolutely amazing. It's, it's smaller than the size of a baby's fist and it was actually built by the country's smallest bird, the goldcrest, which is a tiny little bird that eats insects. It's a small brown bird with a big orange stripe on the top of its head. Looking at this nest, we can see that it's used moss and feathers, but it's even included individual hairs from a big black and white badger and woven them into the nest material. It really is amazing. Birds are really good at taking advantage of what's around them to build their homes. Birds nesting near a field of horses, for example, can use the individual hairs from the tails of the horses to line their nests. Birds nesting next to a duck pond use duck feathers. And even birds nesting near sheep fields use sheep's wool as a lining. Not all birds use sticks to build their nests. Many use grass and some will even use bits of plastic they found lying around to weave into the nest material. One of the most important bits of a farm, as far as the birds are concerned, is the edge of the fields. This is where they find a lot of their food, and it's also where they build their homes. We've just come along to the edge of a field, and when we look around we can see there's lots of lovely wild places that the farmer has left for the wildlife. There's patches of scrubby bramble, tufts of grass and big hedges that birds can all use to find food in and to build their nests in.
These wild places with all these different types of plants are even more important in our towns and cities because they're the only places that the birds really have to build their homes. Whatever the place, the shape and the size of the nest, the really important thing is that it provides a home for the eggs and the chicks to grow up in. And that's the really fascinating thing about birds' nests.